The Asus Z270P has one CPU fan and two case fans. The CPU fan connector is already used by the CPU, but the case fans are not used. So I'm going to use case fan 2, and at the bottom it says the maximum you can have is 1 amp. Each of the server fans is 1.5 amps. I have 6 server fans, so that's a total of 9 amps. So they can't be powered from the motherboard. That's why I'm going to power them up separately, but still connect the PWM to the motherboard for control. As you can see, I don't have any case fans installed. Since the server fans are very loud, what I thought I'd do is get a 4 pin fan, cut the end off and then send the PWM signal from the motherboard to the server fans. The 6 fans were from this server and all I did was to screw them to this piece of wood. Then cut off a power supply cable and then soldered them all to the fans. I think the green cable is the PWM and the yellow is the taco. I did have the data sheet but I can't seem to find it anymore. The red and black are easy, red is 12 volts and the black is ground. I've just done a quick test and it is indeed the green wire. So what I'll probably do is solder all the green wires together and then connect it to the motherboard here and then heat shrink it all to make it safe. I have just been cutting these metal bits off from this hard drive connector and then these will sit in the PWM connector on the fan and then I can solder this red wire which will then lead to the motherboard. Okay, so I've connected all the PWMs to the red cable on all six fans. Which then goes to a black cable and then the blue cable on the fan socket. I added the black cable in because I wanted a bit more length on this cable. So everything is wired up but there's a slight problem. Currently this is set to full speed and the fans are off. But if I lower the power the fans speed up quicker. So basically the controls are the wrong way around. So if I stick it on turbo, fans are running gently and now they're speeding up. If I stick it on silent, they go faster. And standard, they go even more faster. Or maybe not. So I'm going to put it on manual controls. So it's running faster at a lower percentage and if I bring it up it runs cooler, it runs slower. So I don't think I can use the fan curve, I'm going to have to do something differently. But I do have variable control, but in reverse, let's see what it's like at 50%. And you can only do an upwards curve, you can't do a downwards curve. The other option, I could have it at a fixed speed, like 50%, but I'll have to test to see how much airflow I'm having and if it is cool in the graphics card. So at 50% there's plenty of airflow. Let's try 75%, so that should be slower. So at this speed it's just basically like a normal fan. So I can have it at this speed at night and then during the day it doesn't really matter. So now I need to either find a pre-made software that can do this for me or I'll have to write my own software. 20% but this is only 80% because it's reversed. So looking at this graph it doesn't look like I can bring it down to 0% to bring the fans up to 100%. I could remove this cable to bring the fan up 100%. And then I 
Maybe still connected then. I'm getting better temps. Ignoring the first two, those two are the MSI Armour graphics card, so I might have to replace those. If you've liked this video and found anything useful, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't done already, please subscribe and click on the bell for more notifications. And could you also like my Facebook page? And I'll see you next time.